Alright guys, um, I got a lot of requests to do this kind of video again, uh, except for the Glocks. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I love the Glocks a lot myself. Uh, boom armor's not working, oh, that's great. Um, but um, as much as I love the Glocks, they suck big time compared to the uh, High Kappa. And this is my Facebook, just to show you once again, that is his knuckles doing it. Okay, so um, we'll get that out of here. Uh, I don't know. I was actually going to use boom arms for the video, but um, unfortunately, the why I say the Glock sucks so much is because it has a lot more problems, and it's a little bit no, no, that's an understatement. It's a lot more finicky than the high cap. You definitely need to know what you're doing with the Glock, especially if you're from where I am in California, and there's uh, we have um, during the summer or September, October, or like well, not October. It gets sort of cold, but if it's hot where you are. The Glocks have a lot of problems. They don't perform as well um, compared to the um, to the high cap. The high cap can perform in any weather temperature. If, you, know, you just gotta change a couple things, you're done. The Glock uh, just struggles big time in the heat and has a lot of uh, issues. And if you're one of those kind of guys that buys like multiple different brands of Glock stuff to build a gun, you're you're pretty much you're gonna be spending a lot of time on learning how to get the gun to work. So I'm going to show you guys what I consider to be the meat and potatoes of the Glock. And it's significantly a lot more than what you need for the high cap. So um, I don't think Alpha Airsoft has everything. So we're, we're going to have to unfortunately um, order from two places. Or I'll try to show you guys what to get. Boom Arms, I think why I wanted to show them was actually they have everything I think to be the meat and potatoes. But... Um, let's just get the pistol first, and I'll show you guys where you know the cost and everything. Here we go. We got a Glock 17. We got the TM. We're gonna add that to the cart. Next up, oh, what are we gonna get? Pistol upgrades. Now, unfortunately, these brand new TMs have been the slides break really really fast a lot faster than the high cap of ones they're breaking in the front segment and sometimes in the back segment but usually in the front segment um, so you're gonna have to actually get a like aluminum slide pretty fast um, so let's see if they have slides here they have any stock alright the cheapest one is gun modifies but they, they don't even have this is um, I can't speak on a new one. The original ones were excellent. Uh, PGC is a great uh, clone. Uh, I mean, not clone, but a great budget slide, no doubt. So this actually just grab that. Okay, so that's sixty-six dollars, and that's going to take care of the plastic slide that breaks. Um, the outer barrel non-issue on the TM at all. If you're buying a Wii Glock, it is an issue, but so we're we're focusing on TM. We're not doing that Wii stuff here. All right. So we have the slide. That is definitely part of the meat and potatoes. Next up, we need a loading nozzle. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they have here. Uh, I don't have any problem with the gun modify one. Uh, some people said they've been having trouble. Been having trouble. Um, I bought the aluminum one for the TM Glock, but I haven't had enough time to test that, so I can't offer you my honest opinion on that. So let's grab the gun modified because I do have a lot of experience with that and I haven't had any issues with it. So we need the loading nozzle to make sure that we have a backup when the TM1 um, breaks. So we have that. Next up we need, where is it? If you're in a hot area, so I guess, yeah, if you're in a hot area you're going to need need a stronger hammer spring because what the Glock is going to do is going to light strike and I have some videos on that so if you're confused on what uh, light striking is just you can literally YouTube I'm sure there's tons of videos on light striking with uh, the Glocks um, you can just buy this set right here but to be honest I would actually buy this but I haven't had it ah, no you know I need to do the video on the because I have the the gun modified trigger bar so I'm not having any issues with, but people people have been saying that they're having issues with this kit, with the TM trigger bar. And the funny thing is, you need a trigger bar, and you know I don't think Alpha uh, Airsoft doesn't have it. So let's just be safe and let's get this right here. 
So we're going to add this, and this is going to help you combat the light striking a bit easier if you have that issue. But most most of the time, from where I am, where most customers I've built for, we have a lot of us have issues here in the United States for with the uh, light striking on Glocks. So we have the loading nozzle, slide, the base gun, and the hammer spring. Next thing you need is you need sights. Now since we're going to be cheap here, we're just going to get the cheapest one, which is AIP. The reason why I say you need the sights is because unfortunately, um, the way the Glock is built, right here, you see the, uh, the sight right here? This part right here holds the entire blowback unit, and it's plastic. These sights will start breaking after 500,000, 2,000, it could be X amount of shots, but they break, and what happens is your blowback unit becomes recessed, and it starts causing issues. It'll start doing a premature wearing on your frame. It's, it's just a pain in the ass. So we're just going to get, gosh, oh, of course they don't have it. And let's just add it. You guys can do the math. So we're adding, we need metal sights to make sure that the blowback unit is always tight. And these, you know, these AIP are great. They're not going to strip and they're the cheapest ones on the block. Well, you can move up to, uh, what are this, 4890. And these are basically Dawson sights. I, I bought a set of these. They're, they're pretty cool. Nothing else to say about it, really. Alright. So you need that. Now, let's see if they have what what else I need. That's that's why I thought Blue Mars sort of has everything. I don't think Alpha Airsoft does. Um, we need a trigger bar, unless you like spending all your time trying to bend it back and forth. It's, it's such a pain in the butt. I don't think they have it. Do they even have? They don't have the grip. Okay, they don't have the grip. All right. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna calculate this. We're gonna see how much it is. Uh, what is this? Two sixty-five eighty plus. Um, let's just say it's forty to fifty shipping. Cause you know what? Uh, shipping from here is just quite expensive. And I'm actually trying to figure out why it's so expensive compared to other places. But um. Let's just say worst case scenario, you're paying three hundred and ten dollars shipped. So you got the base gun, you got a aluminum slide, you got a loading nozzle, you need got the gun modify. Uh, you basically need a hammer spring so you can strike at higher temperatures in your with your mag, so you don't have light striking. You got the rear sight for uh, to make sure your pla well when your plastic rear sight strips that you have something to replace it to make sure that blowback unit is tight. Next up we need recoil springs. Actually let's check if they have recoil springs. Pistol grades. Okay they Okay. The the AIP one is strong enough. This is uh yeah this is good enough. So we'll add that. Okay, so you're like you're at like 320 shipped, 320 shipped. What we need, unfortunately, they don't have it. Is we need a, a grip. You can either buy. I don't think H H K three sells it by themselves. Yeah, they don't. I would have to find that somewhere else. I'll sh I'll show you guys a quick option. Um, H K three grips are actually really strong. The front post and the rear post usually break on the TM1 really, really fast. And the thing is, if you like to take your gun apart and clean it or maintain it, or if you do upgrades and you take it apart, and you'll notice that the uh, the front post inside of here, well, it's just, it literally crumbles. And the rear post, it, those break too. So you're going to have to get an upgraded grip. And the problem is, if you don't, what happens is your frame and your hammer chassis start moving a lot. And sometimes that can cause issues, and sometimes it can't. I mean, it, so it's a flip side, but like I said, you know, you guys are asking me for meat and potatoes, and I consider uh, the grip to be important. So we're getting that. We also need the trigger bar, because that's an issue too. There we go. So we just need, let's just grab this one. What's, what's in stock? Okay, this is in stock. Uh, realistically, if you can get the H, uh, like a naked HK3 grip, those are nice. But if you can't, just grab a garter one because the front post is actually reinforced. And what you do is you actually JV weld them. 
The rear push, there's there's literally nothing you can do. Uh, I've seen some people like literally glue in their hammer chassis, which I would not recommend. But um, to each in their own if they want. So let's add one here. We need the um, we need the steel trigger bar from Garter. I haven't bought the gun modified titanium one, so I, I can't make any comments on that. You guys know how I am. I, I don't want to speak on anything until I've actually bought it. So, let's see. Glock, Glock. Okay, there we go. So, 1650. Uh, they're, they're cheaper. Uh, WG Shop is cheaper on email, uh, airmail. I think you can get probably maybe like 15 shipped airmail. So we're we're looking at like 320. Okay, we're, we're basically looking at 400 guys, and that's not even like, not even a cool slide. No, no, I mean no offense, but this is just a typical you know trademark slide. That's not even cool for me. So you guys can see like what I mean. That Glock to me is is more of a pain in the butt, and it requires a lot more for for me personally to be a skirmishful uh, skirmishful gun. And even with all these parts you buy, it's still not reliable. You can still have light striking issues, or if you change the companies here, or sometimes the uh, the PGC. I've I've heard from some people as the the pullback unit sitting too high, and there's a gap between the mag. Uh, there's just a lot of issues, so I, I would definitely say if you're looking into the Glock make sure you are fully um, educated on what you're getting because this the Glock is not I don't I really don't think it's for beginners um, you don't have someone build it you know that's sort of knows what he's doing um, I built so many that I'm not gonna lie I hate I hate building them but at the same time I love Glocks and I have too many Glocks myself but they are a pain in the butt so you make sure you get someone that knows how to do it or that you're prepared to do um, fitment and this is just a meat and potatoes. I mean, if you've watched my high cap video, uh, video it's, it's significantly a lot more parts you need. And this is just my personal opinion, so don't take it as, you know, holy grail. Or I didn't even add the holy grail in here. Just the holy grail, just add a add a type bore barrel. You can actually use a high cap one and just add a bucket in there. And you're pretty much done. If you add those two, you're, like, you're over... You're like around 500. So um, I hope this has helped everybody uh, figure out what's going on with the Glocks. But I guess this would be the guide to buying your first Glock. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a lot more parts than the High Kappa. Okay. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Let me just go over it one more time for you guys. So, you know, if I'm talking too fast or whatever. Um, PGC, the Lumen Slide. Is for when the past uh, the plastic slide on the Glock breaks. Loading nozzle is for when the TM loading nozzle will break if you're using propane and that kind of stuff. The hammer spring, enhanced hammer spring, is to combat light striking if you live in high areas or you're running like higher pressure max. Instead of you know if you're running 134A, you really don't need this. But uh, like I'm speaking for my general kind of people. Uh, the metal sights, aluminum front uh, rear sight, is to hold the blowback unit in once the plastic sight starts stripping and breaking. It usually it cracks right down the middle. The the uh, spring plug, I mean the recoil spring, is just to push the uh, aluminum slide since you you know you're going from plastic to aluminum. And it's just strong enough. It's and it's pretty good. it's pretty smooth, which is pretty good for what nine bucks. And then you need the trigger bar. What happened is the on the TM one, it's very it's very soft. So what happens is this part right here, it bends inwards, and your slide will start getting jammed, and it's it's really a pain in the ass. And you can keep on bending the bar back in place, but after a while, you just you know you just want to you don't you don't want to have to waste your time doing that. So this guy, will do, uh, he does the job. There is a new competitor which is gun modified, and I believe it's the titanium one. But I haven't bought it myself, so I won't speak on it until I bought it and figured out um, if it's good or not. But I have the the original gun modified on my project gun modified. It works great, no problems. And the last thing you need is the garter grip, or I prefer probably HK3, which is really strong and it's probably cheaper. But I just I couldn't. I'm trying to make this video now like 500 hours. Um, 
and that's going to help you deal with the front post. You should always JP weld them. If you if you don't want to buy the grip before you even play with it, take out the frame and JB weld the front post. There's nothing you can really do about the rear post, so don't worry about that. That's going to strip regardless. Uh, but this one actually has a brass encased in the middle. So when this one breaks off, it's actually a one piece instead of like 20 different pieces in the front. And that's just to help keep the frame tight. Uh, the rear, the hammer, there's not too much you can do about that because even the garter one is not done. I'm waiting for the gun modify one. So hopefully that will fix that issue. They've reinforced the front and changed the design of the front. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, they've reinforced the back and they've changed the design of the front. Alright, I think I've said enough. I've given you guys a headache, but this is the basic guide to bind for uh, TM Glock if you're trying to make a skirmish bowl. And holy grail, just add a uh, 97 millimeter. Uh, you can use. We want. You guys can use the 4.3 barrel. 97. Yeah, there we go. This is PDI, but you can get a cheaper one. You can get like nine ball or whatever you guys want, and then just add a block in maple leaf, and then you got the holy grail plus the meat and potatoes for the Glock. Okay. And remember, this is a lot more expensive than the high cap. You know, it's a huge price difference. Alright, I'll see you guys around and have a good night.